Battle through the heavens. Grug. Fresh blood was spat out as Tian Shi's body fell from the sky. His feet staggered over a dozen steps on the ground before he gradually steadied himself. A pale whiteness surged onto his shriveled face. Bang! Bang! All the elite Ice River Valley's disciples also flew backwards, appearing to suffer from a heavy blow, while Tian Shi was forced back. After which, they collapsed onto the ground one after another. No one knew if they were dead or alive. Only the three white-clothed elders present were able to barely stabilize their bodies. However, their faces were currently covered in shock. None of them had expected the great formation, formed from all of their strengths, would be unable to last for even one exchange in the hands of this person in front of them. An elite Dozun was indeed not someone they could defeat by just relying on numbers. This person's control of spatial strength has reached an incredible level. He doesn't appear like someone who has just advanced to the Dozun class. Some shock swiftly surged into Tian Shi's eyes as he stabilized his body. His swiftly scanned over the Ice River Valley's disciples who had been shaken until they were unconscious. His eyes flickered. My Ice River Valley has miscalculated this matter today. With this person protecting the woeful poison lady, it is impossible for the old me to capture them alone. I can only head back and inform the valley chief about this matter. Tian Shi was indeed an old, crafty fellow. After this exchange, he knew this mission would not progress any further this time around. Therefore, he decisively clenched his teeth and a mighty, cold air gathered on his palm. After which, his fist smashed onto the empty space behind him. This empty space immediately became distorted when his fist was thrown at it. A dark black spatial tunnel appeared behind him. Bing Xiao, leave with me. The dark black spatial tunnel had just appeared when Tian Shi's hand grabbed toward the three white-clothed elders. A suction force surged out and sucked all three of them to his side without any resistance. His body moved and entered the spatial tunnel. Don't let him escape. Xiao Yan hurriedly cried out when the dark black tunnel appeared. There was naturally no need for Xiao Yan to open his mouth to remind Tian Huizunzhe when it came to something like this. Tian Huizunzhe swiftly reacted to the situation. His palm aimed at the black spatial tunnel from a distance before he ruthlessly clenched it. An invisible ripple spread and one could see the spatial tunnel begin to swiftly collapse. Bang! That white-clothed elder had just been sent flying when the hidden force, placed in his body by Tian Shi, suddenly exploded. His body was immediately covered by an icy coldness. After which, it exploded with a bang. Ice shattered into little bits that shot in all directions as a shocking air wave spread out in a lightning-like fashion. In the face of this wave from the explosion of a body, the invisible strength that spread from the hands of Tian Huizunzhe was impeded. After which, it was momentarily blocked. Tian Huizunzhe eyebrows were knit when the white-clothed elder's body exploded. This old fellow was really ruthless. He decisively attacked his companions beside him. With a wave of Tian Huizunzhe's sleeves, the spatial ripple spread again and resisted the air wave that was created from the explosion of the white-clothed elder's body. After which, it swiftly spread toward Tian Shi. Tian Shi's expression changed when he saw that the explosion of an expert Do Zong did not obtain much effect. Immediately, a fierce glint quickly flashed through his eyes. The other two white-clothed elders felt a chill rise in their hearts when they saw the fierce glint in Tian Shi's eyes. The both of them acted in union without prior agreement as they attempted to move their bodies and flee. However, this thought had just appeared when Tian Shi let out a cold smile. His palm was imprinted on the backs of these two people with lightning-like speed. A wild and violent force shot out of them. Bang! Bang! 
the two elders did not have the time to put up any defenses. That frightening cold air surged into the bodies of these two elders, and the circulating Do Chi in their bodies immediately stilled. After which, they began to swell. Bang! Bang! The two large, ice-cold waves, that had erupted, shook the invisible interfering force of Tian Huizunja until it collapsed. The spatial tunnel rotated and a pale-faced Tian she swiftly entered it. Finally, he disappeared. It's a small world and we will meet again. The matter today is definitely not over. All of you should wait to be killed by my ice river valley. While Tian Shi's figure was disappearing, a vicious, dense voice was slowly being transmitted from the spot where the spatial tunnel disappeared. After which, it reverberated over this valley's entrance. Tian Huizunja slightly knit his brows when he saw that Tian Shi had successfully fled. He had not expected this person to be able to part space and flee despite not having reached the Do Zun class. Moreover, he had underestimated the heartlessness of that fellow as well. He had willingly sacrificed three Do Zong elders in order to flee. He escaped. The little fairy doctor's eyebrows were vertical as she softly exclaimed. Xiao Yan gently nodded. He felt a little regretful. Finally, he glanced at Tian Huizunja in the air and said, Old Mr. Yao has just obtained a body. Although your spiritual strength has been greatly strengthened in an instant, the Do Qi within your physical body cannot be completely recovered within this short amount of time. You have completely relied on your spiritual strength in the fight earlier. Otherwise, it is likely that Tian Shi would not have fled. Tian Huizunja in the air moved and appeared beside Xiao Yan. He helplessly shook his head at Xiao Yan as he said, I could have destroyed the spatial tunnel. However, that old fellow is really too ruthless. He threw three Dozong experts like bombs. Tian Huizunja slightly nodded. Although he currently possessed a body, he did not truly possess the strength of a Dozun yet. He needed to wait until he had familiarized himself with this body in order to be called a true Dozun. We will let you decide where we should go. You can be considered to have given the old me a second chance to live. The old me will return you this favor. Tian Huizunja fondled his beard as he spoke with a smile to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan smiled. He mused for a moment before replying, since Tian Shi has already fled, it is likely that the Ice River Valley will learn about us soon. Therefore, it is likely that we can no longer remain here. Moreover, the Fallen God Valley is not a suitable place if we wish to help the little fairy doctor resolve the issue of her woeful poison body. The poison vapor in this place is too dense. If the woeful poison body retaliates, we will end up with a trouble that we cannot predict. Hence, we must find a place that is filled with light and heat. That kind of place will be able to suppress the woeful poison body, and it will raise the chance of success by 10%. Filled with light and heat? Tian Huizunja and the little fairy doctor pondered the options. It was not easy to find such a place within the pill region. I do know of a place that is filled with light and heat, a voice suddenly sounded while Xiao Yan and the two others were deep in thought. The three of them followed the voice and looked over. Coincidentally, they saw the smiling Xian Lan walking out of the valley. Where? Xiao Yan rejoiced when he heard her words, and he hurriedly asked. Yi City. My Yi clan has a unique place that is called Sun Fire Ancient Altar. The sunlight from the sky during the daytime will gather at that spot. There is a hole in the ancient altar that reaches deep underground. Occasionally, some core fire seedlings will drift out of the hole. When this core fire seedling makes contact with sunlight, it will transform into a kind of flame. Mai Yi clan calls it sun flame. Xian Lan softly explained. This kind of sun flame might not be a heavenly flame, but it is far stronger than an ordinary beast flame. 
Some of my Yi clan's ancestors would frequently borrow this kind of sun flame and increase the success of their pill refinement. Unfortunately, this sun flame cannot exist for too long. It will automatically scatter, Xian Lan's voice was a little regretful when she spoke until this point. Even though it didn't last long, the sun flame was still quite tempting. There was an unknown number of factions who coveted this Yi city. They were all after the Sun Fire Ancient Altar. Sun Flame. Xiao Yan muttered this name in his mouth. This world was indeed filled with mysteries. The Sun Flame's formation was similar to that of a Heavenly Flame's birth. No wonder it was hidden as a treasure by the Yi clan. Based on what you say, the Sun Fire Ancient Altar should be forbidden ground of your Yi clan. They will actually loan it out. Xiao Yan knit his brows and questioned after pondering the proposition. He had met those people from the Yi clan before, and he did not have a good impression of them. The current Yi clan was in a gradual decline. Only her grandfather was a tier 7 alchemist. This kind of strength was not enough to allow the Yi clan to continue being one of the five great clans. If they did not seek outside help, it was likely that they would be swallowed and taken over by other factions. Moreover, from the way Xian Lan saw it, who was more suitable to provide this outside help other than Xiao Yan? He had already reached the seventh tier at such a young age. Such achievement was not the least bit inferior even when compared with the so-called genius seen once in a hundred years from the Chao clan. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after hearing Xian Lan's words. He then gently nodded and replied, Hopefully it will be just as you have said. If I can resolve the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue, I will do my best to help with the problem of your Yi clan on your account. Joy surfaced on Xian Lan's face when she heard this. By saying this, Xiao Yan was clearly giving the Yi clan another chance. Big brother Xiao Yan, you can rest assured about this matter. Xian Lan heavily nodded her head. She had already made up her mind. No matter what happened this time around, she would definitely make those pedantic fellows from the clan truly view Xiao Yan as the savior of the Yi clan. In that case, let's make a trip to Yi City, it is best that we resolve the issue of the woeful poison body as soon as possible. If none of you have any objections, we will head out now. What do you say? Xiao Yan was unable to say anything more after hearing Xian Lan plea. He nodded and made his decision. After which, he turned his head to Tianhua Zunjia and the little fairy doctor and asked them what they thought. The little fairy doctor naturally had no objections to this. After some deep thinking, Tianhua Zunjia also nodded. He said, after advancing to a Dozun, I am already able to continuously absorb the natural energy and turn it into Do Qi in my body. I can also train while traveling. It is not a problem to start moving now. Xiao Yan smiled when he saw they were both in agreement. He immediately walked out of the fallen god valley. Tian Huizunzhe and the others quickly followed from behind. After two days of traveling, Xiao Yan's group gradually approached the exit of the fallen god stream. The human traffic gradually increased. For safety's sake, Xiao Yan's group put on dupengs to hide their appearance. From what Xian Lan had said, the Ice River Valley had issued a wanted order for all of them. Although they might not be afraid, it would still be a little troublesome if they were exposed. Currently, Xiao Yan was thinking of resolving the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body issue. It was naturally best if these problems did not appear. The entrance of the fallen god stream was still filled with a sea humans. It was not reduced because of the flow of time. It seemed that there was still a countless number of people attracted by the sky-high reward that the Ice River Valley offered. The fallen god stream was not far from Yi City. With the speed of Xiao Yan's group, they reached this lush, green city, situated on some plains, within half a day. The few of them landed in the city, but did not stay for long. 
With Xian Lan leading them, they hurried to the Yi clan manor in the middle of the city. Around ten minutes later, Xiao Yan's group arrived at the front door of the Yi clan. At this moment, the main door of the Yi clan was opened. The thing that surprised Xiao Yan's group was that there was not a single guard at the entrance. Moreover, the thick door showed signs of being broken. Xian Lan's expression involuntarily changed when she saw the damaged door. After which, she increased her speed and charged in. Xiao Yan spread his hands behind him. This scene clearly represented that something bad had happened. It was unexpected that the Yi clan had fallen into such a state. Currently, Xiao Yan was not wearing a dopen. However, he had once again put on the skin-like object that could change his appearance, causing him to appear slightly different. Indeed, a clan that has been inherited over generations has declined until such an extent. Now, others barge into their manner and act as they pleased. Would the ancestors of the Yi clan leap out of their graves if they become aware of this? Xiao Yan involuntarily shook his head when he heard the furious cry that was emitted from within the hall. He felt somewhat sad for this Yi clan. A great clan that had once been extremely prominent had actually been turned into such a state. It really gave one the feeling that people change. Xian Lan was currently standing outside of the door. Her pretty face was green with fury as she looked into the hall. Her lovely figure trembled slightly due to her fury. Xiao Yan led the little fairy doctor and Tian Huizunzhe up to Xian Lan. He leaned against the door and looked at the interior of the hall. At this moment, the large hall was a complete mess. All the members of the Yi clan Xiao Yan had met back then were there. However, these people's faces were filled with an angry green color at this moment. There was a green-clothed person wailing and rolling all over the ground in front of them. One could tell that he was a member of the Yi clan from his clothes. The other side of the members of the Yi clan was a group of people in black clothes. The aura of this group of people was quite strong. Clearly, they were not weaklings. Moreover, Xiao Yan was surprised to find that the two shady-faced black-robed elders leading them had reached the strength of six-star dozones. Moreover, from the majestic Dou Qi undulating around them, it was likely that these two people were at the peak of the six-star dozone class. They were a little stronger when compared to the first elder of the Yi clan, who was Xian Lan's grandfather. Who are they? Xiao Yan randomly asked. They are people from the Black Fire sect and could be considered a strong faction within this Pill region. Their sect is located quite close to Yi City and has been coveting after the Yi City for some time. It is unexpected that they dared to barge in. Xian Lan tightly clenched her fist. Her low voice contained a fury that she could not suppress. The two old fellows at the front are the Black Demon Twin Evil. They are extremely strong and have quite a fierce reputation. Even Grandfather is not match for either one of them. Zhao He, Qin Mo, your Black Fire sect should not be overboard. My Yi clan might no longer have the glory of its past, but if we were to really fight with your Black Fire sect, it will not benefit you in any way. The green clothed, old man in the large hall was furious as he angrily shouted. He he, Yi Zhong, you need to bluff in the front of the two of us. Your current Yi clan no longer possess the qualification to continue being called one of the five great clans of the Pill region, one of the leading black-clothed elders faintly laughed when he heard this before ridiculing Yi Zhong. This time around, the two of us have come to incorporate your Yi clan under us by the orders of the sect leader. If you surrender, our Black Fire sect will not treat all of you shabbily. You will still have a place to survive in this Yi clan. If you do not obey, he he, you should all be aware of the tactics of my Black Fire sect. The other shady faced elder laughed and spoke with a hoarse voice. In your dreams. The faces of all the members from the Yi clan were filled with anger when these words were spoken. 
Yi Zhong widened his eyes and furiously cried out. Boom boom. Yi Zhong's cry had just sounded when numerous black shadows suddenly rushed out of the hands of the two black clothed elders. After which, they landed in the large hall while emitting boom boom sounds. Everyone's expression instantly became furiously green when they saw this because the black shadows were dark black coffins. Please accept these coffins if you do not wish to obey. The shady looking black clothed old man smiled densely toward Yi Zhong. A cold, majestic aura slowly spread out of his body. After which, a roar sounded within this large hall, causing some of the weaker Yi clan's members to turn a little pale. Xiao Yan continued to remain by the door. He narrowed his eyes and watched the show that was playing out within the hall. This black fire sect really did not show any mercy when they act. He counted the number of coffins and found that there was one more than the number of Yi clan members currently in the hall. That extra coffin was perhaps prepared for Xian Lan. It was just that these people were unaware that Xian Lan had been following beside Xiao Yan during these few days. Xian Lan by the side tightly clenched her hand. Her lovely body trembled due to her fury. A moment later, her expression suddenly dimmed. She was unable to do anything with her current strength. Big Brother Xiao Yan, please help the Yi clan, will you? Xian Lan is willing to do anything as long as the clan is well. Xiao Yan, who had tilted his head, was suddenly startled. He turned his head and looked at the blue clothed girl, who had lowered her head. Her eyes were red as she bit her lower red lip. Xiao Yan softly sighed when he saw her. Relax, it is not as though this is the first day that you have been acquainted with him. Don't you know what his character is like? The little fairy doctor involuntarily shook her head with pity, and she softly comforted with a smile after seeing Xian Lan's appearance. Since I have already given you my word, I will naturally help you. Hand over Yi City and the Sun Fire ancient altar of the Yi clan. My black fire sect does not wish to do something so ruthless. I shall give you five minutes to think it over. The lives of all the young and old in the Yi clan will be determined by your decision. The black-clothed, old man smiled in a sinister manner while he slowly threatened Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong's face slightly twitched upon hearing this. His entire body trembled. With the current strength of the Black Fire sect, it was very difficult for the Yi clan to continue fighting with them. The atmosphere within the large hall had become extremely pressurizing because of Yi Zhong's silence. These five minutes swiftly passed by in silence. The dense smile of the two black clothed, old men slowly widened when the five minutes was up. Surging energy gradually gathered in their palms. Yi Zhong, you are the one who seeks such an ending. Do not blame the two of us. Ugh. A soft sigh finally sounded from outside of the door just as killing intent surged out of these two black clothed, old men. The two of them were startled, and they suddenly turned around, only to see a young man leaning against the door. Their eyes turned cold and a curse was spat from their mouths. Get lost. The young man ignored them. He moved his feet and slowly walked into the large hall. A calm, soft voice slowly sounded like a wave of water. One minute. Bring the coffins with you and get out of Yi City. Otherwise, you can remain here. The young man's calm voice was just like flowing water as it crossed the large hall. This caused everyone to be stunned. Such a tone was really filled with extraordinary arrogance. The black-clothed elders who were called Zhao He and Qin Mo were startled when they heard his voice. Their expressions immediately turned sinister. Both pairs of eyes looked at the young man, who was slowly walking in, like fierce wolves. A moment later, they ferociously smiled, a mere two-star Dozong dares to act so presumptuously in front of the two of us old fellows. There is still forty seconds. The young man appeared to have not heard the ferocious laughs of the two of them. 
a somewhat lazy voice was emitted from his mouth. Kill him. Zhao He's expression was dark and chilly as he slowly commanded. A fierce expression instantly flew into the eyes of the many people from the Black Fire sect the moment they heard this order. Powerful Dou Qi surged out of their bodies. After which, they unleashed their Dou Qi together without any prior agreement and rushed toward the young man, who was slowly walking over. A jade green flame surged out of Xiao Yan's body and transformed into a fire barrier. Those fierce attacks automatically disappeared when they made contact with the fire barrier. They did not even cause Xiao Yan's footsteps to pause for even a moment. Zhao He and Qin Mo were initially startled and they saw the jade green flame that surged out of Xiao Yan's body. They suddenly cried out involuntarily, Heavenly Flame. A wild joy and greed suddenly rose into the eyes of the two of them after their involuntary cry. The Black Fire sect was renowned for its fire affinity. They naturally had a great understanding of heavenly flames, which were the strongest of all flames. Brat, you possess such a unique item. However, since you have delivered yourself to us, the two of us shall kindly accept. Zhao He smiled. He exchanged expressions with Qin Mo. After which, their feet abruptly stomped on the ground. The two of them attacked at the same time and rushed toward Xiao Yan. Ugh, time's up. Xiao Yan let out a soft sigh and shook his head slightly when the two of them attacked. The space around Xiao Yan was slowly distorted while his soft sigh slowly sounded. Immediately, an old figure strangely appeared. His sleeves were randomly swung toward the two who had shot over explosively. Immediately, the empty space appeared to be violently blended by an invisible hand, revealing numerous spatial folds. A majestic and frightening strength cut through the space quietly like floodwater as the sleeves was swung. After which, it gently collided with Zhao Hei's and Qin Mo's chest without forming even the slightest ripple. Grog. The bodies of Zhao He and Qin Mo suddenly stilled as the wind blew over. The ferociousness on their faces instantly transformed into shock. Before this shock could completely disappear, two bright red mouthfuls of fresh blood along with some shattered inner organs were spat out from their mouths. Bang! After the fresh blood was spat out, the two figures flew back like kites with broken strings. They subsequently smashed against the ground, rolled miserably for over ten times before violently colliding into a wall. The vague yet clear sound of bones being crushed rang out. The entire hall was silent. All the gazes were looking at the old figure beside Xiao Yan with dull expressions. With just a random wave, two experts at the peak of the six-star Do Zone class were defeated so miserably without any ability to defend themselves. Do. Do Zun. Yi Zhong was stunned as he looked at this old figure. Although not the least bit of aura seeped out of his body, he could still sense a dangerous feeling. He had experienced such a dangerous feeling before. However, all of those who gave him such a feeling were powerful existences who had stepped into the Do Zun class. Since when did Mai Yi clan have an interaction with such an expert? This thought flashed through Yi Zhong's heart. Ever since their Yi clan began to decline, they hardly possessed any ability to interest an elite Do Zun. Otherwise, this Black Fire sect would not dare to find trouble with them. While Yi Zhong was feeling doubt in his heart, his eyes suddenly landed on Xian Lan outside of the large hall. He was immediately startled. He seemed to have recalled something. His eyes were suddenly turned to Xiao Yan. Although his appearance had changed a little, Yi Zhong could still see a little familiarity in his outline. He is Xiao Yan from back then. This thought flashed through his heart. Even Yi Zhong could not help but inhale a breath of cool air. The last time they met, this person only had a powerful puppet beside him, Yet why was there another mysterious elite Do Zun beside him after only a short one month period or so? This person definitely possesses a great background. 
Otherwise, how is it possible for him to get an elite Dozun to follow beside him? My Yi clan was blind in old age. We nearly offended this great being. Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the churning thoughts within Yi Zhong's heart. He glanced at the fresh blood on the corner of the wall as well as the shocked Zhao He and Qin Mo. After which, he involuntarily let out a cold laugh. The strike from Tian Huizunzhe earlier had caused these two a serious injury at the very least. Even if they managed to recover, it was likely that a sequelae would be left behind. This senior, the two of us are elders from the Black Fire sect. We are blind to have offended you today. Please forgive the both of us. Zhao He and Qin Mo climbed up from the ground in a miserable manner. Their hearts were so shaken that they did not possess the slightest anger. Being those involved, they had a clear understanding of how terrifying the attack earlier was. By being able to defeat the two of them so easily, the other party was definitely an expert of the Dozun class. Such an existence was not someone their Black Fire sect could offend. Damn it, how is it possible for the Yi clan to be acquainted with an elite Dozun? We have miscalculated this time around. Once we return, we must definitely inform sect leader about this. It is best that we stop having any ill thoughts toward the Yi clan in the future. A camel that dies from being too skinny is still bigger than a horse. The mouths of the two of them were filled with bitterness. They forcefully endured the waves of intense pain that was emitted from their bodies as they rubbed off the fresh blood on their faces. However, they no longer possessed even the least bit of prestige that they had displayed earlier. In front of an elite Dozun, their lives were just like ants that were not even worth mentioning. This point was something that the both of them were clearly aware of. Get lost. If you return again, I will head to your Black Fire sect and accompany all of you with a little chat. Xiao Yan indifferently glanced at these two people, who were scared witless, as he coldly spoke. Zhao He and Qin Mo coldly shivered when they heard his words. However, they did not dare say anything else. Both of them supported each other and fled to the door. Take your stuff with you. Xiao Yan's cold cry quickly followed after these two had just exited through the door. The both of them hurriedly turned around and submissively returned all the coffins in the hall to their storage rings. Only then did they lead their men and miserably fled without daring to utter a word. All of this occurred in front of the stunned gazes of the members of the Yi clan. The members of the Yi clan in the large hall only recovered a while after watching the people from the Black Fire sect flee in a miserable manner. Some respect surged in their eyes when they looked at Xiao Yan and Tian Huizunzhe beside him. Grandfather, are you all right? Xian Lan's figure hurriedly ran into the hall and inquired with a worrying voice while facing Yi Zhong. Yi Zhong shook his head. His eyes immediately landed on Xiao Yan as he softly sighed. He bowed his body and cupped his hands together in a grave manner. Mr. Xiao Yan, thank you for rescuing us. Please do not take the disrespect of the Yi clan back then to heart. Xiao Yan some of the members of the Yi clan were startled when they heard Yi Zhong's words, especially the few Yi clan's elders who had exchanged blows with Xiao Yan back then. Their eyes were astonished when they looked at Xiao Yan. An ashamed expression soon followed. Xiao Yan randomly waved his hand. He was too lazy to say any courteous words. Instead, he stated his intent, this time around. I have come to the Yi clan with the intention of borrowing the Sun Fire Ancient Altar. May I know if Elder Yi Zhong will lend it to me? Yi Zhong's eyes glanced at Xian Lan beside him after hearing this. She hurriedly nodded to him. He could only bitterly laugh as he said, Mr. Xiao Yan has rescued my Yi clan today. Although the Sun Fire Ancient Altar cannot be loaned to an outsider based on the rules of the clan, the Yi clan has already fallen to such a state. It is likely seeking its own death if it still insists on its old ways. 
Xiao Yan only gently nodded his head after hearing that Yi Zhong did not say anything to evade the issue. Yi Zhong instructed the clan members to clean up the large hall before personally leading Xiao Yan's group to the deeper parts of the Yi clan manor. Around ten minutes later, an extremely deserted, rocky open ground appeared in front of them. In the middle of the open ground was a somewhat ancient altar. The enormous rocks that were used to build the altar were filled with the traces of time. Clearly, this altar had existed for a long time. Xiao Yan approached the altar and discovered that it was exceptionally bright. Moreover, the closer he got to the altar, the hotter and purer the surrounding energy was. Numerous substance like light rays scattered down from the sky. After being reflected by the smooth rock walls, they ended up gathering on a dark black stone tablet. There is a hole that connects deep underground under the stone tablet. Some core heart fire seedlings will escape when the stone tablet is shifted away. It will subsequently light up the sunlight gathered here and form the sun flame of course, this was the case in the past, Yi Zhong softly sighed and bitterly laughed as he stared at the ancient altar. What happened? Xiao Yan slightly frowned when he heard his words. Since a couple of years ago, seldom do core heart fire seedlings come out of the hole. It is not possible to excite the sunlight and form the sun flame, Yi Zhong sighed. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. He did not need to rely on whatever sun flame for his purpose. All he wanted to do was borrow the pure, natural energy of this place to suppress the little fairy doctor's woeful poison body. Little fairy doctor, enter the altar, Xiao Yan turned his head and instructed to the little fairy doctor. The little fairy doctor nodded when she heard this. Her toes pressed on the ground and her body gently landed inside the altar. The dense heat and light energy around caused her eyebrows to turn vertical as she felt some discomfort. Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment after seeing the little fairy doctor enter the altar. He once again summoned the earth demon puppet. After which, he finally relaxed and walked into the altar. Old Mr. Yao, please stand guard for us. Do not allow anyone to interrupt. Tian Huizunzhe smiled as he nodded. His body moved and appeared on a huge tree by the edge of the open ground. Finally, he sat on it. You can rest assured that unless an elite Do Zun comes to this place personally, no one will be able to interrupt you. Yi Zhong also wisely withdrew far away when he saw this. Xiao Yan slightly nodded. His eyes swept around him. There were many rock walls around this altar. If one did not approach it, it would be difficult to see what was happening within from the outside. Therefore, it could be considered a hidden place. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze. He looked at the little fairy doctor in front of him, who appeared a little uneasy. With a soft laugh, he said, in that case. I should also begin.